Hey everybody, welcome back to Northern Lion Plays The Binding of Isaac Rebirth. Let's do this. We have a one streak, because I'm the world's greatest Binding of Isaac Rebirth player, except not even close. This is a weird one. Uh, I believe that this might be experimental treatment and mom's pad. Well, mom's pad, obviously. Yeah, I think it is. GPZ69ZPA. Um, honestly, if it's an exper- Wow. Dry baby just kind of chilling there. Um, if it's experimental treatment, I just, I forget what the visual effects of the syringes are, but it's a really good experimental treatment. I think we just go in here right away, and it worked out fantastically. Might as well use mom's pad and then pick up Guppy's head. Um, yeah, it's a good experimental treatment if it's experimental treatment, because we really do have a really good damage stat, like a really good shot speed stat, I think is the other one here. Might be rate of fire, though. Sometimes it's kind of hard for me to tease those two apart, but, uh... I'm feeling really good about this, and Sad Bombs is totally going to allow us to get Dry Baby as well, which is going to make for a, a really incredible haul here. Um, try it there. If we end up wasting a bomb or two, it doesn't matter. We were going to use two anyway. Good, and we're only going to use two. We had to use two to get through. Oh, I almost made it through without getting hit. I'm not surprised that I got hit. It was worth a half Spirit Heart and the two bombs. It wasn't even a half Spirit Heart because we got the... Uh, the extra full spirit heart, so it was really, we got a half spirit heart. And then we got crystal ball, lots of space bar items. Do I want crystal ball or guppy's head? Well, I mean, it's kind of an interesting choice. I think I'll go crystal ball, because our damage is acceptable. Guppy's head is really good, but crystal ball gives us a, a few more advantages that I would probably consider important, I suppose. But uh, it's not an easy choice, for sure. We also picked up the quarter in there, and there's petrified poop, so we have a trinket that is completely acceptable for us to use now, and... This is a really incredible start, and we have not even gotten to our our traditionally, you know, best part of a floor like this, our Angel Room, which we will completely be able to uh, access, or not Angel Room, sorry, Devil Room, which we'll completely be able to access as a result of the fact that we picked up so many Spirit Hearts on this floor from Tinted Rocks, even though I've taken some dumb damage. Now we have the Quarter, we might as well go into our shop, we'll pick up the Steam Sale, then we'll pick up uh, the Nun's Habit, I think we'll pick up the extra Spirit Heart as well. And this is going to make the uh, the crystal ball even better as the game goes on. Of course, it would have made Guppy's head better as well, but now with Petrified Poop. Again, see how the advantages are just stacking up here so quickly. Um, with Petrified Poop, we'll just shoot all this poop in here. We've already gotten eight cents out of it, if my math is correct here. And then that'll be nine. Pretty realistic chance to hit 15 again before this floor ends. Uh, through a combination of enemy drops and also poop, but either way... This is a, a pretty amazing situation to find ourselves in right now. And extra keys as well. Consumables are going well. Everything is going really, really well. We pretty much, in a way, we have full mapping. Uh, adequate damage. We're about to get some more uh, boss room drops as well, which could be damage or they could be HP. This is just, not even just a great Eden star, just a great seed in general, at least for right now. I was going to say the only thing that would be better if, is if that was the crawl space right there, but let's not get uh, too attached to that ridiculousness. And sad bombs... I mean, half of our bombs total to kill Larry Jr. is kind of a tall order right here, but it did do so much damage that it might have saved me a uh, Spirit Heart or something in the end anyway. And we'll get two Spirit Hearts and Placenta out of it, and then our second boss is going to be Dingle. I'm going to throw down a bomb right next to him, just to speed it up a little bit, and uh, did pretty much accomplish that mission right away. Hopefully we can get more bombs in the future. Sad Bombs is like the worst thing we got on this run, and it's still a really, really good item. Blood Clot is also acceptable, and our second Guppy item with Guppy's Tail, and we're ahead of Boss Run, a uh, Boss Rush schedule. This is a little absurd. <laughs> it's the most overpowered run I've seen in a long time without actually being overpowered. It's just like on the cusp of it. We're only an item away in any direction from getting it. Tammy's head. Man, I I really have a hard time saying no to Tammy's head, even though we'd be getting rid of the Crystal Ball here. I think I'm going to stick with Tammy's head, because I think we're almost at the point where this run, if I might get a little cocky here, uh, I think we're almost at the point where this run is, like, kind of unlosable. So, let's take Tammy's head and make it a little bit faster. We've had our, really, our pick of the spacebar items so far. Which, in a way, is frustrating, because you want passive items, so you can actually stack them up. But, uh, I'm, I'm not frustrated, because <laughs> we've had, uh... Some very good choices so far, although, of course, I would have preferred maybe out of that golden chest to get something else, but whatever. This is still really, really good. And if we end up picking up some really high damage items, the, the Tammy's head pickup is going to feel even stronger than it does already. 
And it already feels pretty, pretty strong. We'll open that up. More bombs would be nice. Another spirit heart. I never thought I'd say this this early, but that's actually pretty much worthless. So we'll just leave that on the ground there and, you know, fuck you very much for even giving me the opportunity there. I wonder if there's actually strategy with Tammy's head and blood clot. It seems like we shoot from Tammy's head whatever our next tier would have been anyway. So it's like better for us to shoot on a red tier, right? Let's just see what's in here. Oh. Okay, maybe it's better for us to open the room with a white shot and then switch to Tammy's head. I'm not totally sure. Uh, it doesn't really matter what we get here because we can't reroll it anyway. So if it's Lump of Coal, we'll take it. If it's Krampus's head, we obviously won't. And it is head of Krampus, so we won't. Let's enter this... Okay, we've already been there, obviously. Let's enter this room and uh, shoot once and then use it. No, I think we got to do it the other way. Maybe we, we only shoot after a red shot. We'll have to check that on the next floor. Or in the next room, I should say. So, shoot once, red shot, and then shoot. Yeah, that's the good stuff right there. So it's like a bang, bang, shoot. And then I spit. Or what is it? Slam, slam, spit, then I shoot, as Nick likes to say. Mutant spider. This is fantastic. I don't think it helps Tammy's head, but helps everything else about this run. Bad gas. Nothing wrong with that. I will play you twice, because we can. Maybe we'll come back for you in the, in the eventuality of the future. That's a pretty interesting thing to know about uh, the interaction between Blood Clot and Tammy's head. It's relatively, like, non-essential, of course. I wouldn't disagree with that, but at the same time gives us a little bit of flavor here. Uh, might as well buy both. Hive Mind is super worth it. Treasure Map, also super worth it. That is amazing, especially considering they were both half price. Key Beggar does not stand a chance. But the money will be worthwhile, I think. And... Now we're pretty much just in, uh, hope we get to uh, deal with the angel terror. <laughs> why do I want to deal with the angel so bad? I don't know why my brain keeps defaulting to deal with the angel. I'd much rather have a deal with the devil. I don't really care about that chest. At least I don't care about it enough to spend two bombs when those two bombs are actually going to be very, very valuable for us. Uh, if it comes to killing enemies, not to mention opening tinted rocks and stuff like that, obviously, but killing enemies in particular. Uh, although, I don't think we're going to need it right here, because this boss is too easy. And he'll be dead in one more hit if I can actually sneak it in there. And we did get a deal with the devil. And an HP apple. Uh, we already know what it is, right? It's Krampus' head. I don't know why I thought that that was a question mark as well. This run continues to just ball out of control. One guppy item away from the hive mind guppy combination, which is really just, like, the end for whatever enemies we're facing. Uh, I will try to pick up Magic Mush here. Didn't work out. We got a two of spades, which is actually nice to have. Just got to have brass balls for that section right there. Um, yeah, two of spades is good to have for us here. We'll use it after we run out of... Uh, we run out of uh, keys, but still have opportunities to, you know, open locks, I guess is what I'm trying to say. Um, even though it was largely nonsensical. Is this... Oh, it's uh, Teratoma. I thought that it was going to be bicycle helmets, but it is not. So I'll wait till they get a little closer and try to pop that. I think I hit like one spider with that, which is a great name for an arachnid uh, superhero. Wan Spider. But not particularly strong for us right now. Uh, represents a bit of wasted potential. That's okay. Really, I know I, I overuse this sentiment a lot, but it's hard to imagine this one not working out for us. It's just, it's so strong right now. And we just continue to kind of get these special items I never would have expected. Uh, we'll buy a key. I don't think we need to get anything else here. Broken stopwatch is not worth it. Two bombs for a key is a bad trade at this point. The only thing that makes it good is the idea that maybe we could put a sad bomb down there. And I was going to say get some more keys out of it, but really that just ended up being kind of a, a time investment that didn't really provide us too much there. Well, <laughs> sometimes it's not the worst thing in the world to take uh, a little bit of damage if it helps you finish the room faster. And, you know, we're, we're not on a shortage of... I'll try it. Oh, that's really bad. We're not on a shortage of uh, spirit hearts or anything like that, so we don't have to worry about that too, too much. Well, I guess I will blow up this last mushroom that I, I would have thought I already got, but... Get bad gas. At least it gave us another pill. The other pill was telepills. We're back in the shop. Not a big problem. Still super ahead of schedule. Like, at least 
maybe four minutes, depending on how quickly we beat the boss here. And I don't really see much need to explore the rest of that down there. I don't really care about a blood bank or anything along those lines. Amnesia, it's a bad pill, but again, assuming this is the boss, we're fine. I don't think we need to use a bomb for that. Like, I think we're completely fine here. Don't travel. Don't travel. That's what I'm looking for. Remember, kids, you want to expand your worldview? Don't travel. Just Google image search it. Save a lot of money that way. I'm being sarcastic, by the way. Speedball. Useful. Sadly, kind of a shit draw from our deal with the devil, but that's okay. It's a deal with the devil that if you're looking into the penalties of the odds and the probabilities and stuff like that, we probably shouldn't have gotten it in the first place anyway. So I'm happy we just had the opportunity. Oh, a stone chest is so tempting. Hey, it was like super worth it. Unbelievably worth it. Then Tammy's head. King of Kings gets uh, four hits there and four kills, obviously. You'd like one shot, one kill? How about one shot, four kills? Yeah, I probably deserve to take that damage. And then probably deserve to miss everything with Tammy's head, considering I used it against enemies that are invincible from the front to the melody of Roll It Slow, but now they gotta get up in it fast because I'm a finish last. No matter how much of a thug you see, I still spit it like it's the head of Tammy come to Necropolis with me. Um, I'm not gonna continue with that as much as I would like to. Hmm. Are you a wizard? And telepills. Well, telepills out. Hopefully not get an error room. Of course, it screws up our mojo a little bit for where we're at on the floor. But, uh... It's not like that's a super major concern. More concerned about how I'm going to actually hit this enemy. Or whether or not I even need to, I suppose. There we go. One key. Please, please come up here. Please come down here. I don't want to go to you. The, the nubs are after me. Um, this is going to be small rock, which is fantastic. And Tammy's head is really my lifesaver right now. I need it because it's impossible, or it was temporarily impossible for me to shoot straight. All right. So the gate is going to be easy enough. And... No deal with the devil on this one. I'm only surprised because I would have thought that we had some kind of like increased evil or something that gave us a better chance because it's been happening uh, out of control. Maybe like our luck stat was high. I don't know if that actually impacts it, but it seems like it plausibly could. Let's just throw it, that out there. Um, but uh, yeah, no deal with the devil. At least we got Torn Photo, a really, really awesome boss item. No question about that. And still doing fine on HP on this floor. Bottle of Pills is pretty subpar. Just gave us a bad gas pill. And this is kind of our moment of truth for whether or not we're going to be able to uh, to do our boss rush room. And right now, I'm, I'm a little skeptical that we will. We'll definitely have time. Like, that's not even a factor in the least. We're like eight and a half minutes ahead of schedule for boss rush. Question is much more likely to be, uh, you know, do we want to do it or do we not want to teleport? Uh, my thinking, or do we not want to have to actually do it unless we teleport if that makes sense that was just piss poor damage i'll own up to that one right away um i don't know i mean this run is strong enough to probably do boss rush and live but has to be one heck of an item i do want to explore just to make sure we're not missing anything spectacular and it looks like we're not missing any any spectacular rooms at least so let's come back up to our shop and if it's greed it's greed if it's not greed even better i'd love to buy the compass or something like that pretty much fully compensate for the fact that we got rid of the map earlier and we get pandora's box which is four spirit hearts i think here so i'll take that it's only two spirit hearts but still for seven cents it's pretty good we might as well take fanny pack as well um, and we'll go, and uh, it's unfortunate that I don't have any extra keys, but, you know, life goes, uh, life goes on here. Especially, life goes on for me, as a result of the incredible damage that I'm dealing. I would say life probably doesn't maybe go on as much for the enemies that we're facing, because, uh, <laughs> you know, the quad shot destruction. No one can defeat the power of the quad laser. The bullet is, the bullet is enormous. Jumping is useless. That was more of a meat, uh, meat wad than a uh, err, but I, I tried nonetheless. Okay, let's come down this way. I don't really want to pay a key for that. We had a lot of consumables earlier. Now we're kind of running out a little bit, but uh, I like to think that we put them to good use. And actually, fanny pack. 
Might be exactly what the doctor ordered with respect to these keys, at least. Not a special room at all, but it doesn't really bother me as long as we just don't have to fight those guys ever. Would be a good uh, floor to get rid of our trinket. If we could replace our trinket with a better trinket, I would be into that. Um, like a flat penny or a burnt penny would be awesome. I think I actually will spend a key here to get these. Because it's the only way that we're ever going to get... Uh, we're ever going to get a teleport card is, is via these bombs. Or at least the most likely way for us to do it is via these bombs. Definitely should not open that. Not yet, anyway. In the future, it might be worth it. Hey, yeah, you know, sometimes it's worth it to play roulette if the number you bet on hits. But uh, the odds of it hitting are not that good. One in 30-something. I can't remember how many... That's probably a good sign that I can't remember how many numbers are on a roulette table. I don't make it a habit of playing it. I told this story before, but one, a friend of mine uh, was like, yo, check it out. I got I read about this new betting strategy online. I think it's called the Martingale or something like that. And I want to preface this. I've told the story before, and I hope I use the same uh, preface. But it's a bad strategy. Mathematically, it is bad. And the strategy is, if you, you bet like X. If you lose, double it. If you lose, double it. If you lose, double it. This is on a roulette table where you're betting like exclusively on evens or something like that. The reason you keep doubling it is then if you win, you've covered your losses. And all you have to do is win once. And eventually you're going to win once, right? But the problem is that, you know, due to standard deviation and variance and stuff like that, you could lose like six or seven in a row easily. Like it, it, it will statistically happen. And then, you know, even if you're betting two bucks, double it. If you double it like seven times, you're up to like 128 bucks. Which might be enough for you to say, you know what, fuck it, I'm going home. And then you've lost. Your strategy has failed you. Of course, if you have an unlimited amount of money, you would never, you, like, you would never run out. Because eventually you'd just be like, okay, I'll, I'll keep playing forever. And eventually you would win. Bob's brain? Bob's brain. We did get the fool card as well. But unless, if, first off, do you have an unlimited amount of money? Secondly, if you had an unlimited amount of money, why do you care about winning more on the roulette table, I guess is what I'm trying to say. But anyway, we, uh... Well, he did this strategy, and it was like 20 bucks, lost. 40 bucks, lost. 60 bucks, lost, and then was like, fuck it, I'm, I'm out. <laughs> it's, it's my favorite, like, obvious story of, of gambling idiocy, I think. Spelunker hat. I mean, this is like, getting to boss rush was super not worth it, but it also doesn't matter, because we're, like, we have nothing else to do. We already explored everything. We could donate 10 cents. Look, that's that's cost prohibitive min maxing. That doesn't matter to me at all. You might say, why did he do that strategy if he wasn't willing to carry it through like, you know, 60, 120, 240, etc., cetera, etc.? Cetera? Well, the answer is because, you know, he didn't think he'd lose the first three. What are the odds of losing your first three, right? Not that good. That's the gambler's fallacy, man. I mean, probabilistically, which is probably not even a word. He, he is right in a way. The odds of losing those first three are not particularly good. Uh, however... You know, it, it can happen pretty easily. Long story short, I, I don't gamble, really. I'm trying to think of the last time I gambled. I did go to Las Vegas, but I went with my parents. So I, even though I was young and dumb, I didn't even get an opportunity to be that young and dumb. The w World Cup 2010 was going on, and I bet on Portugal. And then they lost to Spain. And I lost 40 bucks. And for the whole day, I was like, this is... Stupid. Why do people do this? But I would, who knows, man? Maybe if I had won, I would be like, uh, you know, exhilarated and I would, I would get the rush. Las Vegas is super weird as well because they allow like open container drinking, which is, you know, you can carry your alcohol out with you into the street if you want, which might, like, for some people in the world, that's going to sound ridiculous, like, why would they ever allow that? And for some other people in the world, it's going to be like, of course, isn't that what it's like everywhere? No, it's not what it's like everywhere. In in North America, at least in Canada and the U.S., that I wouldn't say it's necessarily frowned upon to do it. It's more that it's just actually illegal. Um, and I'm not going to, I don't have a position on that. But they have that rule, or that law, which is probably a more accurate word to describe it. Oh my god, you're not going to let me become guppy, huh? I think I'm just going to take this. And maybe Judas's Shadow. Oh, no, I can't afford it. I should have taken Judas's Shadow. It doesn't matter that much. But um, And then they have casinos. Places where you could literally gamble enough money away to lose your house. Uh, that sell $1 beers. So you can go in there and get a beer and it'll be like a dollar. Literally a dollar. I mean, it's not a big cup. 
but it's it's large enough that it should be more than a dollar let's put it that way uh, especially considering again it's at a casino casino plus cheap alcohol I mean it's the oldest trick in the book probably I've never read the casino book but I have seen the movie balls of steel is actually pretty important here I don't think we're at risk of death but you know why even chance it if we don't have to uh, guppy not guppy but then like I was there with my parents which I, my parents I don't know why I put that expression on it and my pop filter is gonna be very mad at me uh, and my pop might be very mad at me as well for that cadence but I was there with my parents so I was like hey don't worry I'll get this around I'm flush right now I've got at least three one dollar bills in my pocket I can get us a, a round of drinks and I went up to the counter and like I was like hey I'll have three beers please and the guy was like sorry due to regulations we can only give you two you can walk in first off you could slam them in like a second and then just get another one I was like my parents are sitting right over there he's like no no dice I can only give you two drinks at a time I love the idea that there must have at some point been a conversation with like the Securities and Gaming Commission gaming in this case meaning gambling of course that was like how many drinks is too many and they were like well one drink every person only needs one drink at a time they're like well hold up what if they went to get a drink for their buddy and they said okay well that's sensible two drinks well what if what if they have two buddies nope too far nobody has ever been to Las Vegas with two people at the same time so I had to like I had to come back and I gave my mom and my dad a drink and then I was like hey can you guys go get me a drink cuz I can't get uh, another one but I could literally without being vetted at all get all the money in my bank account and basically put it on a coin flip it's it's a very it's it's an interesting city I have Las Vegas is very strange in that I've been there once I would not like to go again except under a very unique sp specific set of scenarios somebody else's bachelor party that's <laughs> one of my friends is like hey I'm gonna have my bachelor party in Las Vegas and we're close would you like to come I mean like, okay I will do that for you we'll, we'll have some fun you know we, we can bet on some on some sports games and whatnot um, but I you know I'm not eating ice cream cones with you at five in the morning smoking a cigarette you know in my underwear outside of the Mirage or something like that it's just it's too far but what happens in Vegas stays in Vegas thing is too, it's too far man what happens in Vegas stays in Vegas except for that time that I was unable to get a drink for both of my parents at the same time we probably over the course of our four days in Las Vegas had a total of like 12 alcoholic drinks between us not each like between us we went and saw Cirque du Soleil my parents got their vows renewed which was uh, that was the experience to be a part of and then um, we walked around a lot ate, ate at some buffets that was pretty much it but no you can't take it back three drinks at the same time I'm not mad at the bartender all right that's why I wanted to stress the Securities and Gaming Commission or Gaming and Exchange Commission or whatever the combination of those words is called it's just like you got to draw the line somewhere I just happen to be on the wrong side of the line for my own convenience it's not that big of a deal I guess death's touch Kane's other eye Bobby Baba. Well, Tammy's head is going to be awesome now. There are some unfortunate parts of this. Sad bombs will also be awesome. Holy Mantle just guaranteed us the win if we were ever at risk. And we might have been actually at risk temporarily there. Um, keep in mind, Bob's brain is actually pretty sweet for us. Even though it occasionally, or more than occasionally, hits us. I will take Eve's Mascara. Um, we also have Sad Bombs. So uh, every time it hits something, it explodes. Which is pretty sweet. And that's the exact reason I took Eve's Mascara as well. Is it's going to make Tammy's head, Sad Bombs, and uh, Bob's brain a lot better. So, seemed uh, relatively smart to me. I think, it, you know, I, have, I guess I have no position on gambling. I went to the casino in my, not really my hometown, but in an adjacent town when I was like 16. Because my friend and I thought, not 16, sorry. I was like, I was 20, but I probably mentally was like 16. Because I was like, you know, we should learn to count cards. It'll be just like that movie 21, man. And then my friend and I instead just had like two beers and lost track of lost track of time while we were playing blackjack. And then made, I, I, literally, it sounds like I'm making this up, but I made like $4. And I was like, that was all right. 
one of my friends lost like 16 bucks and was like, man, we, we shouldn't do that ever again. It's probably a good sign that you're not cut out for being a quote-unquote professional gambler, I'd have to guess. And I can't play poker either. Like, when I play poker, I, I telegraph too easily because I have no tolerance for bluffing. I'm like, wait, what do you mean you're bluffing? You, so you're lying. You're lying is what you're Like, I don't know what, it's just like there's a constitutional problem with, with bluffing in my brain sometimes, at least for poker. Because I always just like, if I have a shit draw, I'm like, I'm out. I fold, I fold, I fold. And then one in every, like, 15 hands, I'll be like, I'll raise you. And everyone else is like, okay, well, then I'll fold because I'm pretty sure you might have something good. And I'm like, yeah, that's what I wanted you to think. But really, it's always good. Yeah, I'm, I'm not a very good poker player. I'll just admit that outright. But I, if I ever play in a poker tournament, I usually get my money's worth. Because I will, I will just be chipped down by the blinds for like two hours. PhD is fine. I mean, at this point, we're pretty much just like killing time until the run ends, which looks like it's going to be soon. And it's going to take us to a two streak. I'm not going to get too cocky about that because we're still uh, very much in the infancy of things. I can't believe this run at 26 minutes was extremely fast, but for whatever reason felt kind of slow. I don't know why. Got to get the old uh, coffee going to the brain. But for now, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the episode. If you did, click the like button. It helps out a great deal. Of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. For now, thanks for watching, and I will see you next time.